welcome back. My name's Victoria. I'm a mum of five in the UK. These videos are filmed a few weeks behind. My large family vlogs, which are on Patreon, are more filmed in real time. But these are filmed a few weeks behind. So this happened in August. Went for a lovely, lovely walk. I'd been kind of struggling with, you know, all the terrible things that have been happening in the world lately. And a walk with my kids just really sorted me out. We went to a park in not the next village, the village after, and we went the scenic route through the trees. And it was just very cal calming for me to think that not all world is dreadful. Yeah, and the kids had a good time climbing trees and then the park area. <laughs> Jerry walked for a bit. That's my toddler, and he gave up after a bit and got in the buggy. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sky. Absolutely stunning sky. They like this park because it's got a huge zip line, um, which the parks in our village don't. I'm sorry if I keep sniffing, I've got a cold. <laughs> and I've been trying to put it off doing this voiceover, but it's got to a point now where I may be sniffing forever, so I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I haven't seen this video for a bit, I filmed a couple of weeks ago. I was laughing at my daughter. Right, as usual, lots and lots of laundry. Always the laundry. I was given a big pile of clothes to sell on Vinted and there was lots of things in it for my daughter. That's why there were loads of girls' trousers. So I forgot it was Sunday. Sunday dinner. And I had to... Well, hang on, what day is this? Oh no, this is a different date normally. Nothing to do with Sunday dinner. <laughs> That's next. Shepherd's pie. We're doing a shepherd's pie. And as you'll see, I'm not everything's perfect. I don't make nearly enough mashed potato. <laughs> mashed potato, I can't get it right. I either do way too much or I don't do enough. And this particular time, I didn't do enough. And you'll see. But this is real life. It's not an advert. And the other thing was, I forgot to defrost the, the mints. So that was me just then. You've just seen it clunking it frozen into the frying pan. And I hate cooking meat from frozen. I hate it. But needs must on this occasion. So I had to get on with it. And I was thinking the other day, how come we need telling that not everything has to be perfect? And that nobody else is as perfect. And it's because we're constantly presented with things that are perfect. Things that aren't real. Or you're watching like one perfect moment out of somebody's entire day. And that's just not how life is, is it? Mashed potato, which didn't make enough of. Some people put, um, is it ketchup in the shepherd's pie i don't now nah, i have got a big jug for making gravy in but i couldn't find it <laughs> so i was like i'm gonna spread it over two cups and sometimes i cook carrots to put in but this on this occasion i was harassed and i was tired and i was i'm just gonna put tin carrots in it and it worked out it was it wasn't as nice but it worked out perfectly fine using tin carrots so i'm gonna do that again when i'm in a pinch and I don't know why, but boiling carrots seems to take forever. <laughs> unless that's just unless that's just me. And I'm glad that I'm doing voiceovers, because while I'm cooking this, you can hear kids shouting, <laughs> running in and out, and the husband clattering about, and somebody trying to kick the chickens out of the kitchen, and the dog will be barking at somebody. It's not as quiet and peaceful as it seems on here. So I mix some gravy in um, so it doesn't get dry in the oven. And it doesn't look like gravy by the time it's cooked. So yeah, look, not nowhere near enough mashed potato, look. I just put it on and like spread it out as much as I could. <laughs> but it still tasted nice. I need a guide on how much potatoes to make mashed potato. That's how much was left. And if I remember right, I put it on a plate and my husband warmed up at like three in the morning because he's, he's, he's an insomniac, you see. 
Look at Lila Toddler's lovely pink feet. He's in the trains at the minute. He's shouting choo choo. And he shouts choo choo when he sees a cloud in the sky. So I think he thinks it's the steam off a tree um, off a train. We home educate, so this is me just going through the purpose of full stops and commas and capitalists to be in sentences again <laughs> with my six year old. I don't hammer it, I just go over it again every now and again. And then they get it. Laundry, laundry, laundry. This wasn't all of it. This was just a bit of it. The other day, I did the, I did all of it in one go, and the pile was immense. I can't even tell you how much it looked. It would help if my daughter didn't change her clothes like four or five times a day. <laughs> and then I'm sorry about that unfortunate angle of my face. My strawberry plants are making loads and loads of runners. There's runners all over the place. I decided to pull some off. And plant them in tubs on the top of chicken ass. I've still got loads more to do. There's loads. They're just going crazy, they are. But I love strawberry plants because they just make their own plants. You never have to buy any more strawberry plants if you've got a strawberry plant. It'll just keep reproducing. But, pardon me, a home ed friend wants some runners. But I don't know when I'm going to see it to give them her. And I asked my mum if she wanted any runners. But she's got enough runners of her own from her strawberry plants. And I needed some muck from the garden to plant um, the runners in, in the pots. So I'm just getting some out of that patch there that's going to be Gabriel's herb garden next year. If I remember right, while I was filming, I keep turning round because the kids had their friend round. They were playing in the garden. I kept turning around to check what they were doing. Oh, well, that's some dough I were doing for, um, what was it? I can't remember if it was Cobbs. I think it was Cobbs. I can't remember. Now, this shot has nothing to do with the video. I'm just including it because I don't know like how like I normally do. I was filming something from Bella Dance Channel. That's my daughter in the pool. I've... Oh, and now this is a Sunday dinner bit. <laughs> the bit I thought it was earlier and it wasn't. It was Sunday and I totally forgot it was Sunday. And I had to nip up to the co-op last minute to get some chicken breasts. And now I'm peeling the potatoes. I've got my compost jug on, Law. All my peelings go in there. And then it goes in the composter in the garden. And my composter's full of worms because when I take the lid off, my daughter's like, eh, it's full of worms. I'm like, yeah, that's the idea, Dawn. I'm <laughs> making compost. Oh, see, this is filmed in August, so I'm wearing all my dresses while I can. By the time you see this, it'll be freezing again. And we'll all be wearing jeans and... Jumpers again. My dress. Somebody complimented my dresses the other day, and I've had them years, years and years and years. That black and white one I'm wearing is the first one my husband ever bought me. And it was about it's about thirteen years old, and the reason I've had them for years and years and years is because I only get to wear them for like two or three weeks of the year when it's summer, <laughs> and then it's back to jeans, isn't it? We don't live in a sunny country. Yeah, they're my composters. And the next day we was meeting some friends of ours at the splash pad in my hometown. So I'm packing the bag with like spare clothes. For in case anybody chucks themselves in the water and then needs to change. I'm making sure I've got nappies and wipes and all the rest of it. I find it helps if I do the bag the night before. But the other day, I think it was yesterday we went somewhere and I totally forgot to do it the night before and I had to rush about in the morning getting it done. But <laughs> luckily we're all right. Right, now I'm going to put some... I've, I couldn't be bothered, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't be bothered to warm up the carrots and peas on the stove. So I just mixed them up in a bowl, ready to microwave them when the rest of it was done. Because as always, I was harassed and rushed up my feet. So I was like, right, I'm just going to do that to make it easier on myself. This is my gift to myself. The new potatoes from the co-op. They're quite nice. They're them kind of, not they weren't baby royals, but they were them kind of ones where you can just sort of scrape the skin. But I knew that a kid would be like, the skin left on this, so I ended up peeling them, which broke my heart. Peggy and I again, more laundry, more laundry. See, you might be sick of shots of me, Peggy and I, but believe you me, 
As soon as the weather drops, I'll end up having it all hanging everywhere in the house again. So I'm getting getting the hanging the laundry out in while I can. I often wonder how much of my life has been doing laundry. Anybody else wonder that? That's one of my sons who come out to talk to me while I were pegging out. You can't see him properly. He goes and lays down on the trampoline. I can't remember what he was asking me about, but he come he come out to ask me something. Probably something to do with guinea pigs. <laughs> Knowing that child. Oh dear. Oh, shaking something out. Must have been all crumpled up in the washer. I'm sorry if you find me pegging out boring. It's just this is my life. Pegging out <laughs> all the bloody time. Laundry, laundry. I'm dishing up now, look. And many memories of my mum dishing up. This is what I don't get. Like, when you go for tea in a restaurant or a pub or wherever and they put, or you, and you order something, say, like, a jacket potato and it comes out and there's a little pot with your baked beans in and a little pot with your cheese in and then there's a lump of butter and then the potato and then you have to put all the stuff onto the potato. I often think... Why have I got... I know it's to, it's meant to look posh in it, but I always think, why have I got to dish up? I dish up at home. I've come out for a meal. I don't want to dish up. <laughs> I've ordered some, paid for it, and I end up dishing it up. Do you know what I mean? We went, where did we go? We went somewhere once, and there weren't even plates. They were like roof tiles. I don't think they were meant to be roof tiles. We looked like a roof tile. It put me off. And my friend said she went somewhere really posh and she ordered some sort of mushroom thing and it come out of a garden trowel. A clean one. But I was like, what is this trend? Is it too much to ask that when I go out, which I don't often nowadays, but when I go out, that my food's on a plate and it's dished up already. It's not on something random and it's not in little pots so I have to dish it up myself. One of my kids doesn't like gravy, so I have to keep in mind when I'm cooking something like this, especially if I'm harassed, that I don't accidentally pour gravy on his plate. But how can you not like gravy? A couple of times I forgot and just poured gravy on everything and then I've realised, oh, damn, that kid doesn't like gravy. That's the toddler's, that tiny plate. Kind of goes up. You'll, you'll tell from the age of the kid how much is on the plate because it goes it goes up with their age. Now this is the trip I was packing the changing bag for. On the bus, I couldn't be a bus driver, you know. It gets red hot on them in summer, and they have to deal with all the grumpy people moaning at them because they're late, and it's not their fault. It was roadworks or something like that, and then they have to be polite. On the way back from where we'd been. The, my oldest two, um, the vicar was on holiday and she was paying them to mind her garden, like water everything, trim things and stuff while she was away. They've been doing it for about three years now. So that's me just poddling along the stepping stones while they're doing it. Sometimes my oldest gives the toddler the hose, which is fun, because then we all get wet. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a cold. Been sorry for myself. Yeah, Bod were making a boat out of a leaf. It's a lovely garden, though. My oldest said, oh, I'd like a garden like that. And I was thinking, it wouldn't look like that in our house, but there'd be trampoline and toys everywhere. <laughs> it wouldn't stay looking like the vicar's garden full on the chickens and eat all the flour. And then when I got back, it was a Tesco delivery. The husband was outside watching the kids in the pool. Normally I've help. Normally my two oldest boys help me bring it all in. Or we bring it in and then the husband unpacks it if he's having a good day. But this day the husband was outside. That's why I was able to film it because normally it's chaos. So I can't film it. So I have to bring bring the trays in. I'm putting some bits in the cupboard there. But mostly I dump it all on the table and on the sides. Just to get it done quick so the Tesco man can go. And then when the Tesco man's gone, I put it all away. And then by the end of that, I'm knackered. 
But it's a lot better than like when I used to bring home a week's worth of shopping on the push chair because he used to knock on my push chair and he used to knock me out and then I still had to put it away when I got back. The only thing I don't like is that when you have like a free sample of something and they just shove it in randomly like like it's dishwasher tablets. I ain't got a dishwasher and so I end up giving it back to the man. But say it's dishwasher tablets or something chemically like that and they shove it in the tray with the bloody cheese or the fresh stuff. It just, it turns my stomach. I don't like it. Yeah, potatoes, look, shoving them in there. But I tell you what, Tesco... Um, Aldi's probably better price wise but Tesco do the best online shopping I've tried various supermarkets for online shopping and it always ended badly and made me murderous because they'd send me something ridiculous or they wouldn't have any of the things I wanted and I'm going to the shop anyway Tesco's got the best track rate for me um, with online shopping so I've kind of stuck with them now because we haven't got a car and I do like going to Aldi and picking things myself and looking at things and going down the middle aisle and buying random stuff and stuff like that. But it's just too hard now. Bringing the shopping back on a push chair for seven people, it's just, it was just getting ridiculous. Now, when I was pregnant with the toddler, I ended up saying to the husband, I can't, I can't do any more. So we switched to online shopping. But I still, have, I still end up going to the co-op. Because um, we end up stocking up on more fresh things, fruit and veg and things like that. It's never enough fruit and veg and milk. If you like that video, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.